UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Husky softball, always competitive at the highest level. In fact, this season is no different from the beginning when the program first launched back in 1993. Ranked in the top 25 and a favorite to advance to the College World Series. Okay, we're going to our spots. We're getting rips and reps. Our expectations at the University of Washington are very high. We expect to do it every single year. That might not be realistic some years, uh, but we definitely have a lot of mature players, a lot of players that have been in the program for two, three years now, and they understand what this expectation is all about now. And now it's just about going out and playing our game, understanding what our game is, and playing each pitch one minute at a time. The girl Kim, take that little base hit. Coach Heather Tarr is the centerpiece of Husky softball. She's demanding, driven, a dog through and through. Dogs on three. One, two, three, dogs! What we're trying to do is become the best Husky softball team that we've ever had here. So that means everybody understanding their role. Everybody has a role to contribute to towards being the best team at the end. So I think we have our team in a good spot where the national championship's out of our control. You don't win one in March. You win them in the end of May. And our goal is to just continually improve and get better every single day that we have left to play together. One, two, three, nobody! Right now the Huskies are playing some of the best softball in the country in prime shape to make another run for the national championship, just like they did in 2009 when the dogs were crowned the top team in the country. Like every season, the Huskies are stacked with talent, starting with senior outfielder Victoria Hayworth. But here at the UW, this team is more than just wins and losses. Being Husky is, I think, really about family, about our Husky Nation, which is the name of everyone that supports us and everyone affiliated with Washington. And I just think that the programs we have to support student athletes and the fans that we have that come in the pouring rain, no matter what, to support us is, is unmatched by any other school I've ever, I've ever seen. So I just think that speaks immensely to the university and the programs and coaches within every program here. And as Coach Heather Tarr said, we got to get someone in scoring position and get that timely hit. And for this team, it always circles back to Coach Tarr, the skipper with the vision, competitive in everything she does. And they get it. Seventh strikeout for Brianna Walker. I've never met someone so passionate and committed to the game and to high level of expectations and high level of achievement. Coach Tarr is competitive about everything, like who can tie your shoes the best. JT will get you if you're throwing or not. She emphasizes winning everything, winning the pitch, winning the game, winning the at-bat, winning warm-ups, winning batting practice. Being a powerhouse is never easy. This season, like many others, started on the road. The Huskies played 25 straight games away from Seattle before playing here at home at Husky Softball Stadium. Can those muscles stay strong when we're out here? to see the ball this much longer. I just think Washington's a special place, and it also it just takes a special person to be able to think outside the box and really consider this place as a hidden gem, because it really is. It's beautiful here. All right, Bridge, let's go. You got it. The academics speak for itself, and obviously we like to say that the softball speaks for itself, but we think as a program. And let's go make some plays. Our best is yet to come still.